Hello, today I'm going to give a demonstration of one technique you might use for creating a geometric painting. Um, some artists, when they're trying to work with very straight lines, very calculated, and I've done this before, you might tape something off. I do occasionally use tape. Um, and you might uh, draw pencil lines. But what if you want uh, an edge that's very soft, that, that doesn't have the evidence of how it was made necessarily. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is a, a little tool, and it's sort of a, it's a variation on a traditional tool in painting that was called a mall stick. And the purpose of a mall stick is to um, give your hand a place to rest when you're working over a, a wet painting, whereas your hand, you want your hand to be steady and you want to have control, so you give yourself a brace. And uh, when people made oil paintings, especially the, you know older pre twentieth century oil painting, uh, they had to work with fine detail over a surface that might still be wet, and that was the method they used. It was a, it was more simple than this. It was just a large stick that they braced against the wall. But I'm using this here. You know, partially I could use it for that method, but what I'm also using it for is I'm going to give you a closer view and you'll see what's happening. So uh, here you see the edge of my painting. You can see that there's several, uh, you know, square vertical transitions in the painting. Um, and I'm going to bring in my device and you'll see what, how I'm using it. So in this case, I'm going to be working right in this section here and what I, I I've decided I want this to be a little bit lighter I've already mixed my color so the way I'm going to use this is watch what happens when I bring this piece into the painting see how that shadow is cast so now I'm going to go in and just and paint very carefully up to that line And then I'm going to transition this whole section to a lighter color. And then I'm going to rotate my canvas and do the other uh, two sides. I'm, I'm working around three sides of this to create that, that same space and transition. So I'm moving this in and I'll do the same. Okay, so here's the finished corner of the piece. You can see I've just slightly lightened that uh, whole kind of half inch wide section. Um, and, you know, not coincidentally, I'm kind of working with uh, a piece that is about uh, light and shadow and using a technique that uses light and shadow in its rendering so that the method and the, and the concept are uh, linked together. So there's a short demonstration about a technique artists might use to create straight lines in a painting.